Yes, uh, it's a difficult game, man, especially they've been playing well. They didn't want four straight prior to this game. So uh, we didn't take them very lightly. We came out and tried to just uh, play very, very good Brooklyn Nets basketball on both ends of the ball. And I think we did that. Uh, you know, four quarters are just pretty solid, pretty solid game for us, uh, especially the sixth game of a long road trip. So uh, we're just happy to get back home and, and, and you know, be able to play in front of our crowd. Just uh, on both ends of the ball, defensively, I think we're more engaged. We know what, where our strengths are. We know where our help is. We communicate a little bit better. Um, you know, we try to keep teams under 100 points. And then offensively, we just move the ball. We got our sets, our go-to sets that we go to. And uh, just try to get in the paint and, and uh, you know, draw two on the ball and, and get us our open shooters and our open playmakers. So, um, you know, I think we did a pretty good job for the most part the entire road trip. We had one pretty bad quarter in in, um, in Chicago. But other than that, I think we, were, we had a pretty solid road trip. Talk about getting the ball to the shooters. I guess comment on the performance you got from Patty. I know his stroke hadn't been up to his best the last few games. But, I mean, what did you see from him today? I mean, nine threes is pretty, <laughs> pretty good to me. Uh, I mean, that's, that's the beauty of it. It's a long season. You know, have some tough games, um, tough tough stretches or whatever you want to call it. But it, Patty's a vet. He's been through a lot, and he knows how to get himself out. And he just continues to work, and good things will happen for him. So and that's for all our guys. You know, we try to put confidence in each and every body. Um, so whatever your role is, do it and do it every single night. Whether you make it or miss it, um, just try to do it, and we'll live with the results. This is the first time you and Kevin played here together since – were traded about 10 years ago. Didn't hit you at all that time will go to today? No. I was just trying to come in and win. I mean, uh, for me, it's been a long time, so. Greg? Greg, go ahead. Okay. I, I was just wondering, James, uh, uh, when you look at this road trip, the body of work, like you said, there was that one bad quarter in Chicago, but when you look at the whole body of work, where do you feel you guys have made the most improvement? Um, both ends, honestly. Both ends, defensively and offensively. Uh, we're coming together, and it, it feels good out there. It feels more fluent. It feels, it feels like it should. And uh, obviously, we got a long way to go, and we're still building on it. But just the confidence and kind of knowing each other a little bit more um, is helping us a lot. But I think both ends of the ball, we've, we've, we've experienced uh, a little adversity, um, and then we've experienced, you know, being away from, from home and having to fight through and, and grind out different games and, and go on different runs and teams coming back against us and how to, you know, get a good shot and get three stops in a row to, to win games. Like, it's been a lot of things that we've had to, to go through uh, for this, this road trip. So it was a good test for us. We won't be able to talk to you before Tuesday, so with that being a marquee matchup, just your thoughts on facing Golden State, the way that they're playing in the test you guys at home? They're playing, playing extremely well. Um, you know, we know, you know, what's at, at stake as far as like what we're playing against and, and obviously Steph is playing at a high level right now. Um, but it's it's basically the role players and everybody else who's 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 playing a well and effective in the game. Um so it's gonna be a tough matchup. We we gotta just get home, get some rest, uh coming off a long road trip and uh, be ready to go Tuesday. Are you surprised they still boo you here over those Houston days? I don't know. It wasn't my fault, <laughs> so I don't know. I don't really care, honestly.